Welcome back mates, before we dive into the waterworks, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more epic World of Warcraft content. Today, we're tackling this challenging delve, and trust me, you'll want to be prepared for what's ahead. Before we start, a crucial piece of advice, make sure you gather a restored coffer key before entering the waterworks. This key is essential for looting the chest at the end of the delve, which holds valuable rewards. Don't skip this step, or you'll miss out on some serious loot. Now, a personal tip from my experience, if you're running this as a DPS, you might find yourself getting overwhelmed by the mobs. The damage they deal is no joke, and I found myself dying more often than I'd like. I had to switch to healer just to survive, so if you're struggling, consider doing the same. It made a world of difference for me. Throughout the waterworks, you'll need to master the purified air mechanic. These canisters give you a two-minute buff that only ticks down when you're moving. To conserve this buff, limit your movement as much as possible. If you run out of purified air, you'll get hit with the noxious fumes debuff. This nasty effect drains 1% of your health every second. So make sure to find another Charging. canister mm. quickly to remove the debuff. During the delve, you'll face several kobold enemies that you might remember from the Creepville's rest delve. Kobold Taskmaster this elite mob can boost its allies' attack and cast speed by 25% with Battle Cry. Watch out for their Blazing Wick attack, it's a frontal cone that deals heavy damage, so sidestep it quickly. Cobbled Mystic. This caster is dangerous with its flame volley, which can inflict significant damage on your group. Make sure to interrupt this spell whenever you can. Cobbled Skullface, a melee mob that applies a stacking bleed effect. This bleed can get out of control fast, so take them down as quickly as possible. device keeps us safe from the poison. Hold on to it. Careful! The totem's power will drain whenever you take a step. I need to target something first. Thank you. 
That's more like it. Just got down your dick of the spoils! Shockwave. Interrupt. Shockwave. Shockwave. I need to rest after that one. Taking on Waxface. The final challenge in the Waterworks is Waxface, a massive cobbled boss with two key mechanics. Noxious gas. This uninterruptible cast deals heavy damage if you're caught in the circle when it finishes, and it leaves behind It'll a void be zone. You'll need to move out of it quickly, but remember Watch to conserve your purified air. Lobwax. This ability deals minor direct damage and applies a slow, making it harder to dodge other attacks. It's not a huge threat, It'll but be it can be annoying if you're trying to avoid noxious gas. Completing the waterworks is no small feat, especially with all the mechanics and tough mobs. But the rewards are definitely worth the effort. So, grab that coffee key, your step. switch to healer if you need to, and good luck on your journey. If this guide helped you out, make sure to like, 
share and subscribe for more World of Warcraft content. Watch Thanks yourself. for watching and I'll see you in the next adventure. AOE incoming. Watch your step. AOE incoming. Watch your step. Avoid to happen this to you, I forgot to get key before joining scenario. Nice find! Find me wherever the action is. Uh, don't do anything I don't do.